Hopefully it won't blow up around the PC. Hi guys, it's me Ryan. So in this video, we are going to upgrade the fans in this Alienware Aurora R11 system to reduce the temperature, also the noise. So what we will be using is three fans and one thermal paste. So we're gonna take out the CPU uh, and replace the uh, thermal paste. And also we need some alcohol to wipe out the old thermal paste and a microfiber towel and also some screwdriver if you find the video is helpful definitely hit that subscribe button for more videos about gaming how to's and also some comedies and unboxing videos and without further ado let's get into this okay so first thing you just need to unlock the panel Mine doesn't have the screw, but yours may have it. So you just take the screwdriver and lock it and push that little tab and the panel is gonna pop open. So you grab the panel and put somewhere safe. And next, let's lay down the system. Okay, so safety first. And then I, I just bought this. Okay, that's good. So you wanna lift up this tab, lift up this tab and get the power supply out of the way okay that's our first step so we're gonna change the front fan first so grab our fan so this is the one that we're going to use i'm gonna put this under the description below so you can go check that out um originally we just need two of them because there's only two fans in the system. One is for the front and there's another one for the top. But I'm going to do something like a customized modifications. I'm going to add a two on the top. So one suck in air in and the other one blew all the air out. So this method um, I, I learned from one of the other YouTuber. Um, I learned uh, all this stuff from him and I want to give the credit to him um, I'll put down his uh, channel down to the description below so if you guys interested in any modifications or gaming you can check out his channel too so without further ado let's get into it let's get this graphic card out of the way first so you want to get this part out just like so okay aside and unplug power there's a paint power just unplug it be careful there's a little cl clip so you want to push it and unplug it just like that so you want to put this aside remember how to put it back okay so a paint total and there's a little tab below the graphic card. You want to push that. Okay, so we have it. Our RTX 3080. It's not that big compared to other brands, but it's pretty good. Okay, so we want to leave this aside. And next, okay, so we want to get this fan out. Okay, so this is power port. So we just want to put on this tab, like so, get this cable all the way, and then grab the fan out, like this, okay? So as you guys can see, this fan is really, really cheap, okay? We don't want this in our system. so. We're gonna put in this one. What we want to do is take out the brackets. Get it out. 
just like that. Okay. And put in the new one. And just slide this back in there. So it was this way. Slide it in and put in the position where it used to be. And you hear it here, click. And there it is. And then plug in back the power. And the first one is done. And you want to just give a little cable management, make it nicer and don't block block the uh, the wind okay so that's our first fan and that's the replacement let me put it aside okay so first one done and the second one is a little bit harder because uh, we do have to take out the cpu and maybe the memory card and maybe the heat sink in order to get this um, radiator out and then we have to take out the top panel in order to install the other extra fan in there okay so you grab your screwdriver I have so many of them so I think this one will work so unscrew it just make sure don't drop your screwdriver otherwise it might break the motherboard so you want to unscrew it and also we we want to reapply the thermal paste that's why we also want to take out the cpu and then we wipe out the old thermal paste and then we put on the new stuff and that's a very good one on amazon i'll put the link down below too okay so after you unscrew it just, just be careful. No, just take it slowly. Okay. And then and take a look at the thermal paste. It's not really that well. So they, did, they didn't put that well. So we want to reapply re that to make it better. So we want to put this on top of the memory. Just don't break it. And now what we want to do is take out the fan that's on the top okay so I'll turn this way so you guys can see better so we just want to take out the fan so there's two one two so two screws need to take out. And then we also need to take out the heat sink. Grab another screwdriver. Take out the heat sink. Just grab the heat sink and put somewhere safe. And also, the uh, memory cards are on our way too, so we need to take out those memory cards as well. Okay, so one, two, three, and four. So as you guys can see, the thermal paste, you see, there's a much place that haven't covered on this regulator. So you want to put this aside. Um, next, what we want to do is get this top part open or we can clean the uh, thermal paste, the old ones on the CPU. So nice and clean. 
and just leave it there we're gonna use it pretty soon and then we want to also clean out the ones that's on the cpu you can take out the cpu if you want to or you can just leave like that but i prefer just leave like that because i don't want to you know cause damage to the system so you just grab your fiber towel wrap it like so so we need to get the top panel out so let's flip over the system There we go. Just put aside. Put this power supply back. That's our working table. So we want to get this fan out. So that should be it. So we just take out this fan and put aside and take out the screws. That's our regulator. And we want to put in a new fan. Just like so. Oh, we want to line up the screws too. Okay, so in here, in this part, like you need to put it this side. So you're gonna suck the air in. So you want to put this side so this label label is up to here okay so we want to put our screws in there and then put it back in here make sure it's tight otherwise you will have a rattling sound Okay, so that's our screwdriver. I grab the power. Okay, so we put it back the radiator. So you go like this way. So just be careful when you put it in. I'm gonna go to the back first and then the front. Move out of table all the way, okay? So slide in just like so. And just screw back the screws. Okay, and now let's put up our new thermal paste. So there's two methods you, you can do it. Um, one, we can go like single dot. Another one is cross. What I like to do is uh, a dot in the middle and then cross. So it will cover the whole place. Nice and tight, no leaking, okay? And the front is nice and tight too. And now, what we want to do is we can put back everything and then leave the, uh, the top part. So we put back our memory cards. But don't forget to connect all the power cord. So the motherboard, and then use CPU and the 
new fans. Plug it back in. So that is okay. So that power connect our friend is connect to. Okay, looking good. Nothing is broken. And we put back our memory card. And now we put back our graphics card in. Okay, big bad boy. Let's put this bad boy back in there. We put another fan up here. So what happened is my phone dead over there and I didn't catch the part where I put that fan on there. However, it is not the right place to put it anyway. And it should be in between the radiator and that brackets. What I noticed is I put everything back in, but I forgot about my heat sink. Okay, so let's put this back in there too. Okay, so I have all the power cable connected. Hopefully it won't blow up around the PC. So what I find out later when I put everything together is that the lower fan, the front fan, it's bad, it's broken, it's not, not spinning. So I end up taking out the fan, the extra fan and put that in the button. So I end up with just two fans upgraded. However, it still gives me the reduction both on noise and temperature. So I will show that to you in a minute. Let's run a Cinebench to see the temperature of the CPU. Let's run it. So as you guys can see, the temperature goes on 93 in the package. And our cores are above 80. So this is how it does in Cinebench with the temperature after the fan upgraded. As you guys can see, we are getting 80 something compared to 90 something. So that's a big improvement. So that is pretty much everything for this video. If you find this video is helpful, definitely consider to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. It will only take one click from you, but it will help me a lot to grow this channel. If you have any questions, please leave comments below and then I will get back to you from the best I know. Lastly, please be safe and happy holiday and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.